Okay. Uh, my name is Irina. I'm the head of purchasing department of Paspa Company Ukraine. I'm sorry, I'm a bit worried because uh, it's my first experience uh, of uh, webinar. Uh, today we're speaking about uh, the project of optimization um, of inventory management, which we carried out uh, with our colleague uh, from ABM uh, Cloud Company. I was a, a project head manager from the customer side. I'd like to say a few words about our company. Uh, Fastpack was founded in 2007 in Kramatorsk, Donetsk region. And uh, at 2014, when the Russian invasion to Donetsk region uh, has started, the company, including a warehouse and uh, of his staff moved to Gaston and after that to Bucha. There uh, we've been working until the 24th of February. Uh, Paspark is one of the most, um, of the biggest importer of fasteners and fixing material in Ukraine and one of the main supplier uh, for DIY chain. Uh, before the project start, we had a warehouse with area more than uh, 5,000 square meters and 15,000 pallet spaces. 150 employees worked for our company. We cooperated with 83 partner stores and we made more than 10 million shippings per year. So um, let's continue. Our main clients uh, were uh, Epicenter and Leroy Merlin. At, uh, it, 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 it was, it was uh, one of the biggest supply chains, uh, uh, DIY chains, I'm sorry, in Ukraine. When Obi and Practica worked in Ukraine, our share on the shelf uh, was uh, near 100%. Uh, let's there were the follow issues in inventory planning and management that time. Uh, we had large stocks. Uh, of course, it helped us to keep our service level at target range, but uh, at the same time, it froze working capital and reduced uh, to Nova. Uh, we generated our orders and plans manually. And to be honest, uh, very often they were quite inaccurate. And uh, it was impossible to analyze uh, changes in, uh, in inventory levels and uh, in the whole supply chain. What challenges we faced to before the project starts? Uh, as I said, we had uh, a huge assortment. Uh, it includes uh, now uh, more than 12 uh, SKU uh, and uh, SKU with different lead times. And of course we know that it's uh, quite different to manage them. Uh, any of basic characteristic of SKU once parameterized, uh, we made our plans and uh, our forecasts and our orders uh, with Excel and uh, the influence of uh, human mistake factor is pretty big in this case. We all know that uh, uh, it's enough to make only one uh, mistake in one box to make uh, the whole calculation correct. Uh, as well, uh, pandemic, uh, we all uh, suffered from uh, pandemic and lockdown and um, from volatile demand. Uh, our forecasts were totally inaccurate um, and constant improvement, uh, unstoppable drive uh, is a, a drive to um, constant perfection uh, is one of the basic fundamentals of our company. So we realized that uh, they need to, um, to do something to uh, uh, we need automatization of um, our supply chain planning. Uh, when we had to make choice of software, we've just um, picked the site on the methodology. I visited the MRP uh, workshop and when we uh, discussed with my colleague uh, its main keys, we realized that it's something very close to the method we used. 
but with uh, significant um, uh, distinctions. Uh, so we've been thinking if we had to um, uh, had to buy ready to use software or to improve our own operational system. Uh, regarding to development our ERP, there were a lot of uncertainties, uh, not only as for cost, but also as for results. Uh, on the other hand, uh, into a floor based on the DMRP um, gives us answer for all this question. Um, all main points were defined uh, before the project start. And I'd like to emphasize that we uh, haven't gone up at a terms and budget. Um, so uh, it was very, very important for us. Uh, and uh, as well, we, we, we received um, references from companies uh, which already have uh, provided into the floor. And we realized that um, it matched with all our needs. The main advantage of the DMRP is that uh, it includes the main keys of modern uh, methods of uh, planning and managing supply chain uh, consolidated by innovations block. So the main reason to choose into a flow for us uh, was we got the whole supply chain in one intuitively comprehensive system, uh, which allows us to reduce reaction rate, to increase supply chain reliability, and to provide a return of investment growth. What should we do uh, to manage the assortment more than 10,000 SKU with lead time from three to 200 days. Our steps, first steps uh, were the follows. Characteristic parameterization. Uh, we assigned such attributes for all SKU as uh, uh, order cycle, fixed lead time, MLQ, uh, ADU or FDU, main supplier and so on. After that, we divided them to group, make or buy, and sort them out uh, according to lead times. Uh, after that, we defined clear planning and execution priorities. And instead of uh, different uh, formulas in different uh, Excel files, uh, we got single and simple uh, order calculation methods uh, and reliable planning tools. Uh, there were three milestones of this project, uh, launch preparation, project launch, and parameter optimization. Uh, each of them took approximately two months. During the first stage, uh, IT specialists and managers of uh, supply uh, of uh, purchasing and uh, execution department spent near 30% of their working time. Uh, when we were on the second stage, uh, we, we spent approximately a half of our working time, but uh, loading on IT went down. And uh, by the end of the third stage, we uh, spent much less time on the project and we worked completely. Uh, I'd like to say more uh, detailed about each, uh, each stage. When we were uh, on the first stage, uh, first of all, we completed methodology uh, training. Uh, after that, we digitized procurement and production conditions. Our IT specialists uh, provided exchange, uh, data exchange between ERP and into a floor and the instance uh, rollout was completed. During the project launch, uh, we fixed data errors, uh, calculated buffers, and as a result, we uh, 
generated and sent first orders. Uh, by the end of the third stage, uh, we uh, the whole assortment, our assortment was uh, in the system. Uh, we learned to work with um, alerts and reports. Uh, we analyzed MOQ and we calculated uh, production order cycle. About the order cycle, I'd like to say uh, more detailed. Uh, and I'd like to say about uh, how it helped us to reconcile fixed business assets uh, with change in demand. Uh, when the 2021 uh, beginning, uh, we all suffered from lockdown and it led us to um, demand decrease and to redundancy of work power in company. To save uh, our warehouse team and to enable their operation, um, we have to make some changeovers, a lot of changeovers. Uh, we reduced the order cycle for make uh, items and accordingly the batches. Uh, as a result, we kept uh, less uh, quantity of goods on stocks. Uh, but we became more flexible regarding to constantly changing demand and uh, we provided steady work for our warehouse team. Um, and of course, when the lockdown finished, we um, reset the system and returned to our previous uh, uh, parameters. Uh, so, what has changed for us with uh, providing into a floor? We all know such problem uh, as the model distribution. Maybe uh, near ninety percent of company reported about them. Mm. Then uh, a lot of inventory either. Uh, are in uh, too little or too much range and uh, very little uh, is within optimal range. With providing into a flow, uh, the distribution uh, looks like that. Uh, the most inventory is into optimal range and uh, inventory we have to uh, order, where we have to order uh, is in, in yellow zone and very little uh, is in zone uh, little or much. How it looks in, in the system. Uh, Overstocked uh, SKU uh, are colored blue, missed SKU are colored uh, red, colored yellow, it's time to order, and colored green, uh, it's okay with them. Uh, and uh, you can see that we had, before the uh, project start, we had more than 47% uh, of overstock SKU and 20% uh, of missing goods. Uh, by the autumn of 2021, uh, we had uh, 33 and 10% uh, appropriately. So you can see that providing uh, into a floor led us to reduce our problem two times, by two times. And as well, one uh, of the significant uh, result of providing um, into a floor was uh, that we raised our service level by 6%. We all know how it's difficult to uh, increase um, on time and full level uh, after 90%. Our starting level was 92, but it wasn't enough for us. And we are quite ambitious. <laughs> so, Mm, we even didn't expect that uh, in very short term we can get 
20 or 97 um, an average percent service level. Uh, according to classic paradigm, we would have to increase our inventory, but we reduced. We reduced them almost by two times, you know. So it was um, a very great um, fact for us. Uh, and, and of course, the main key result is that it, it was automatization of our process. Mm, we get more time for new project for development and uh, the accuracy of our forecast uh, became high too. That's all. I'm very appreciate for your attention and I will be glad to answer your questions. Yeah, thanks, Serena, for presentation. Uh, there is uh, one question. Uh, did you see it, or uh, I need to read? Uh, just a sec. Uh, I'll read. It's no problem. Yeah, Irina, okay. Irina, Irina, very nice presentation. Thank you. Can you uh, elaborate uh, if and how you do DD and uh, an SOP? SNOP. Uh, how do you know uh, when a buffer is sized correctly? Uh, what are your criteria? Uh, we didn't know if they are correct uh, at the start of the project. Uh, we calculated them with uh, the help of our colleagues from AB Cloud, ABM Cloud. And uh, after that, uh, we, uh, we try um, to, we start working and we can see uh, how the level of inventory change and uh, we, we can see you know uh, we, we'll experience but and and we uh, we we saw uh, how uh, the whole system react uh, on buffers and um, how it asked uh, to uh, how many it asked to buy Mm, is this uh, quantity uh, was adequate or not? And it was something between intuition and experience and calculation. Between intuition and the intuitive flow. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for question and answer. Impressive yeah. results. It's not question, but... It's okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, if uh, somebody have uh, more question, you can type it. Uh, and uh, I want to say that uh, we are in timing. Uh, uh, thanks, uh, Irina. Uh, thanks, Carol. Thanks, Sviat. Uh, thanks, everyone, for uh, attention and uh, time and your uh, questions. Uh, we uh, hope that uh, information was useful uh, if you are interested uh, in a presentation of uh, software uh, which are uh, irina implemented uh, you can uh, type uh, in a chat uh, or uh, one moment i will share the screen or you can uh, scan uh, qr from the screen uh, and uh, let us know uh, about your interest and we can uh, contact you to arrange a meeting. Uh, thanks everyone, uh, good luck and uh, hello from Ukraine.